Okay, so this is a Wii U set I got, and it's pretty special. You can so this Wii U set set could make a bunch of different robots. Today we're just gonna make three. Let me show you inside. So, so this is a manual. You can. You can use to count how many pieces you have and if you have the right amount. So, so this is how you check. There's a bunch of pieces like this. And then, and then in the inside, and in the inside, and there's also a bunch of different things. This is the brick. You can... This is a brick. It's like the control center of everything. It controls these three things. This is the motor. This this is the motion sensor. And this is a tilt sensor. So the motor can turn something called an axle, which can spin something. A motion sensor can detect how far something is by some type of coat some code you can do and we'll get to that later and this is a tilt sensor so when it's tilted it'll give a response apart from that there's also many other parts like i showed you a little bit before you there's these parts so these are the parts you have and and these are wheels um these are wheels they can be attached to the motors that's the regular use there's also many other things too, like there are simple Legos too. There, there are gears, there's m many variants. So there's a bunch of different variants of gears. So there are these gears. There are, there are these gears. And you may call these gears. There's also these gears and these gears. Actually, they're the same gear. I just did the same gear twice. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be funny. Okay, okay, so there's also wheels, like this, this, and this. There's also fourth wheel here. There's also the tires are removable, so you can swap tires. Okay, so, so th there's these that Attached to these and you can make like flexible things like this Okay, so there's also decorative pieces you, There's also these decorative pieces that are eyes and you can add them to your robot to make it a little more fun so So the things I showed you before were supposed to be flowers and they attached to these petals so to summarize this all it there's a lot of pieces. Okay, now let's come to ha to the organization. This Wii set also provides stickers for each each box, so you can organize it. Okay, so so these this box helps you know what to put in this box. This set also has an app where you can code your robots. Let me show you. So, um, hi again, and this, now we're gonna go to the WeDo app. You might not have it. I already installed it, but if you wanna install it, I'll place a link in the description box. Now let's go. It's called WeDo 2.0, and you'll find the link in the description box, but for me, I already have it, so let me do it. Let me show you. So, um, so these are projects um, I made by myself, but when you start this app, you'll not see these projects. So let's go to classroom projects. That's where you can find all the projects you, you need. So, so there's a bunch of projects like Glowing Snail, Cool and Fan, that's one of the projects that I'm gonna show you, Moving Satellite, Spy Robot, and so on. And also you might be wondering what these things are. And these are like solving problems. Like 
Frog met- metamorphosis is like a tadpole, and you can also make a frog. Pulling is how you can pull something. Um, drop and rescue, it's something about drop and rescue. So, so now let's like do, um, let's say glowing snail. If you don't want to do the gl- glowing snail, just choose something else. Okay, so this this person called me and Max visit tells a story about them visiting an aquarium and seeing a rare snail, and they want to build a model of the snail. So they need your help to make one. So like it'll tell you instructions. So like most so like um this is how you build it. Like so first you do this. Then you put these on. It, it'll tell you how much of these you need and what you need. And uh, so, so then it'll keep going until you make this the snail. The first part was building the project, and now we're moving on to the second part: is connecting your um we do to your brick to the computer. Um, so like. You need it. There's probably a source you can name and then connect it to your computer. Here, so there's a button on the Wii U. It looks something like this, and you connect it to a computer with a nameable Wi-Fi source. So, okay. So now let's move on to the third step, which is coding your project. So it tells you some code instructions up here, and then you you need to move this. And then it says move it, change it to five. So you press number five, and then you're done. Like so, now you're done. Now just just press play. Just press just press this button, and it'll make the snail glow. So so that's what you want to do. But you might be like. Arham, what if I want to do a project without with anything? You can you can just not use the instructions and like pull something else. Or there's another way. Just go to home. Okay, you just place this press this plus button, and then um whatever you make it'll whatever you make you can code it. Okay, so there's a bunch of different blocks. This is the speed block. So, like in in the in most of the projects, um, I will be building with you guys. It it runs on a motor, and the motor um kind of just spins an axle that you can use to spin anything. So so this like increases or decreases the speed. So um then you got the time block. It'll like wait this many. It'll wait five seconds. And then do the next thing you place there. This is the stop button. Um, it'll it'll stop. So it'll stop whenever you place it, and then it'll move on. If there's no block after it, it'll stop forever. So now, now these are the now we come to the main motor blocks. So like this this block, um, move it clockwise. And this block moves it anti-clockwise. Okay. okay, so so then you we we've seen this block before. This is what we use to build the glowing snail. So like you can actually change it to different colors. You don't always have to do it five, but I like five because it's like cool. I like it. So then it, it's a music block. Um, you can do different music like. And there's more music you can check out. I don't want to play it for you guys because it might be too loud. We'll discuss more blocks later in the series. So, so now, uh, okay. So now we're gonna actually build the project. I'll show you which projects we're gonna build. Just go to classroom projects, and then we're gonna build the cooling fan, moving satellite, and spy robot for you guys. Let's get started. This is a model I created. Um, it's a fan. So now let's try programming. 
So first we have set the speed to eight and then go clockwise. Let's see how it works. So it's going clockwise. And then stop. Now let's do anti-clockwise. It's going in this direction. Clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Okay, now let's move on to the main project. So it'll set the speed to 50 so you can understand how much the how much difference the speed makes. Then then we're going to go clockwise, wait 5 seconds, don't move, change change the change the brick color to whatever we want. I am choosing teal. And then we put the motor anti-clockwise. Now let's see what what happens. So you can see that the um this light changed to teal. This spin clockwise and then anti-clockwise after a few seconds. So that's what my program does. Hi, so I made this satellite rover. And now we are gonna see it move. This is all the code. It has speed 10, um, turn right, um, wait two seconds, um, ch change color to um, orange, um, turn left, and then wait two seconds. So now let's see it move. So this is a spy robot I created. And and a spy robot, this spy rot, robot is supposed to, when it senses an object, it does that. Or instead of that, it it basically um, alarm, makes an alarm sound and turns this light to red. Let me show you again. Yeah, perfect. So now let me show you the code. So, so the first very important key part of this project is, is this forever loop. Is this forever loop. So, so it basically allows us to instead of keep um, pausing and then replaying on um, it, we can just keep doing this. Whoa. And this. Okay, now let me show you how the code works. So, so first, it's we have a start button. Then, it's, then we have a big repeat loop without a number so it can go forever instead of a specific number. We have change to six or green. See, look, you can see green here. Then it'll, um, it'll wait how many, it'll wait until, until it detects something. And then it'll change, um, change this to nine or red. So, you know, like after it goes red, and like you just seen, um, the music is is set to eight, and that's the sound. And and you notice before you can hear that once it turns red. Let me show you again. Yay.